How you doing guys? I'm Trenny Sanderson. You're tuned in to the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Five types of people to avoid. That's right. There are five types of people who will just hold you up in life, who will just make you feel down about yourself, who will just suck your energy from you. And that's what it's all about, guys. It's all about making yourself better, having that good energy so that you can make other people's lives better and the world a better place. First things first, the first type of person you want to make sure you avoid and never spend a lot of time with is a pessimist. Never hang around a pessimist. These are people who always see the negative before things even happen. Like the first thing that comes to their mind is always something negative. These people have a hard time seeing the world in a positive point of view. Maybe because their upbringing, who knows? Maybe it's just because of their losses in life. You know, maybe it's because they've never seen divine powers working for them like we do here on the Infamous Living Room Network because we see it all the time. Maybe they don't know that there is another side. Maybe they don't know that there is a spiritual side to life where the angels roam and they do warfare. But make sure you stay away from pessimists. Because if you want to succeed, if you want to accomplish goals, if you ever want to do anything, you need people around you to encourage you. People around you that says positive things to you. Now, somebody asked me this. They say, well, how do I know, you know, people are pessimists when they're, they're sometimes pessimistic and they're sometimes optimistic? Ask yourself this. How do you feel when you're around them? Do you feel inspired? Do they make you feel comfortable around them? That's how you can always tell if a person is a pessimist and an optimist, the way they make you feel when you are around them. Number two, make sure you stay away from non-productive people. These are people who are always, gimme, 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 gimme. What do you have for me? I don't wanna bring anything to the table. I don't wanna go out and make things happen. I'm not a go-getter. I'm not an optimist. So what can you give me? And if you don't have anything to give me, then I don't like you because you can't gimme, 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 gimme. See, these people, they're not interested in trying to make themselves better. You know, they just want to point fingers. So definitely make sure you surround yourself with productive people. You know, people that are going somewhere, people that are aspiring to be somebody, people that still have dreams, people that are setting goals for themselves, you know, people that have quotas to meet, people that tell you things like, I'm gonna get promoted next month. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get promoted next month. People that cherish their jobs, you know, they feel that they make a big difference at their job because they believe in what they do. They are productive. You know, a boss can always notice his productive employees. You know, when you look on television, you always notice the productive people because they, they're acting, they're playing basketball. They're on a television show. You know, they own a tattoo parlor or they draw or do art. You know, they're always doing something extra. That's how you know who is a productive person versus a person who's not productive. The productive person is always doing more than expected. The next type of person you should definitely avoid on your path it's people who like to point fingers. You may have ran across some of these in your life. I know I have several. I can't even count what, how much is several. I mean, many, lots. People that tend to point fingers and say, it's your fault. It's his fault. It's not my fault. It's their fault. They are the ones. It's him. You did this. You did that. And you did that. Stay away from these people. These people, like to blame everybody but themselves. Life is a feeling process. And life reflects back to you who you are. So if you're ever in a situation where something goes wrong and you're a part of it, you are a part of it. Believe it or not, but you are a part of it. If it involves you, it might be to a different degree than the next person, but ultimately at the end of the day, you are a part of it. I like to refer to scriptures and stuff because I was raised on biblical principles. But I always remember it said, don't judge. 
God always says, don't judge anyone. You don't have the right to, you know? And that ties in to pointing fingers and judging people for incidents and, you know, circumstances that went bad that you were involved with. You're, it's your fault too, just as well it is this person's fault. I always do it. I'm, I'm, be, I'm getting so good at it now that I'm such a bad person because I blame myself for a lot of things that happen in my life. You know, I blame where I'm at financially. I blame where my character is. I blame, you know, sometimes when I go out and do things that I know I'm not supposed to do, I blame myself for it all. But you know what's gonna happen in return if you blame yourself for things that you do mess up? It makes you better. It makes you stronger. It makes you faster. So don't never forget this. The next type of person you should definitely avoid are haters. People that don't want to see you do good. These are the people that when they see positive people, when they see optimistic people, when they see productive people, when they see a pretty woman, when another girl looks at you, if she gives off the energy of hate, don't, don't be around her, don't be a friend. Stay away from haters. How do you know if people are haters? Sometimes they like to show it. Sometimes they like to show it in their facial features. Sometimes they like to say it and, talk, and tell you things that you are not. Sometimes they like to condemn all the good things that you're doing for yourself and for others. Anything good that you are doing, they flip it and reverse psychology and make you feel like you're worthless. Make you feel like you're of no effect to the people that you help, to the work that you do, and the things that you want to achieve. They hate it. They don't like it. And that's fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to continue to try to make ourselves better. And when we're leading by examples, we make other people's lives better. And then we make the world a better place. Last but not least, number five, the fifth person you should definitely avoid are people that are just always committing violent acts. People that like to abuse other people. People that get an enjoyment and a thrill out of fighting. Oh my God, I remember growing up, man, in high school, there were so many fights at my high school. I couldn't even, couldn't really concentrate half of the time because there was probably a fight happening in my very classroom. And most of these people I noticed, they love to fight. They just love to fight. Maybe they didn't get attention growing up, I don't know. But I've experienced a lot of people who love violence. You know, I'm around people sometimes and they're just so infatuated with the things on the news. All the negative things that spew from the news every single day, it, it arouses them. It makes them feel like they know what's going on. And since they know bad stuff is going on, that's what fuels them to continue their life. But me, I don't personally, I don't watch the news. I don't watch the news because why should I watch the news when the only thing that the news talks about is violence or hate or negativity. So I know you might feel like spooked out sometimes or scared or nervous and stuff. And you always have to feel like you might want to be around people who are big and badder than you or who are more tough or more gangster than you. At the end of the day, that's not good energy. So it's gonna have some negative, some negative pull on you, you know, either way you like it. You know, so make sure you surround yourself with kind spirits, kindred spirits, humble spirits, people of generosity, people of cheerfulness, people that walk around every day <laughs> with a smile, you know, people that have happy energy. Stay away from people that curse your life, people that are infatuated with just saying curse words. People that love to walk around thinking about their next fight they get in. People that are so quick to start a fight. Stay away from those people. These are the people that you should definitely avoid if you want to be the best person you can possibly be. So it's always about making yourself better, other people's lives better, and the world a better place. Guys, I'm Trenton Henderson. I hope this message resonated with you. Please speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment at the very bottom. Shout out to Kiki out there in the Bahamas. I told you I was gonna give you a shout out, Kiki. We all together, guys. We all one at the end of the day. So in the meantime, I'll see you next time in 24 hours. Peace.